Hi, this is Frank Kane from Sundog Software here to talk about the new Shipwake system in the Triton Ocean SDK version 2.3. We completely overhauled the wakes in Triton 2.3. We now model the interference patterns from the Kelvin wakes behind a ship, so you get that nice 38 degree V-shaped wedge behind the boat and coming from the bow. That's in addition to the spray effects and propeller backwash or turbulent wake, leaving a trail behind the moving ship. This is all hard to do with a system like Triton, where the waves are actually being displaced in three dimensions. You can't just slap a flat decal texture over the water's surface, since the surface is always moving. Instead, the same shaders that displace and light the water do a bunch of fancy math to add in the prop wash textures and Kelvin wake displacements, all within the same rendering pass as everything else. We'll turn down the wind here a bit so you can see that wake a little bit better. Here we've turned off the ocean waves completely so you can really see those wake effects. We'll switch into wireframe mode so that you can see the wakes are actually displacing the water surface. It's not just a texture or normal map effect. By the way, the frame rate's uh, locked to 30 frames per second for recording this video. Normally we get between 1 and 200 frames per second for scenes like this. We've also taken great care in our bow wake effects. In training applications, people actually use the size and shape of the bow wake to estimate the speed of the ship, and we do model that accurately. You can see here how it reacts to different ship velocities, and it also varies with the draft of the ship, which is how deep the hull extends underwater. You can also see nicely here our spray effects both at the bow and along the hull of the ship, which adds a little bit of extra realism to the scene. Our approach can also handle ships moving on arbitrary paths, such as the turn this ship is making. Most other systems just place a, stake, a static straight tail behind the ship, and that doesn't look right at all when the ship turns. But our Kelvin wakes and propeller wash do the right thing for any path a ship might be on. Our propeller backwash or turbulent wake is also accurately modeled. It expands realistically with distance from the ship, and this can actually be used in training applications to estimate the size and speed of a ship from the air. For games, it just means that it all looks as realistic and convincing as possible for your players. Triton can also handle local disturbances on the water, such as from helicopter rotor washer or impacts on the water surface. We model these as a series of circular waves originating from the point of impact with associated foam and spray effects. The Triton Ocean SDK is available for C++ and C Sharp developers using OpenGL or DirectX on Mac, PC, or Linux. And we have integrations for Unity, Havoc Vision, OpenScene Graph, and Ogre. Head to our website at sundogsoftware.com for a free evaluation SDK and for demos, screenshots, videos, and more information. Thank you.